So it'll be in those states of flow. You know, you seek, okay? And while you're seeking, you're finding. Now, when you speak from what you sought, you know how everything has a shelf life? Spiritual things have a shelf life. So I'm really meditating. I'm really going deep. I'm really in the wisdom. I'm really in the inside. There's a shelf life of that experience that I can transition into my YouTube videos. Now, if I speak about what I went through three years ago, two years ago, okay, there's still a potency and we can go back in time. A person can hear, receive that. But the potency, the shelf life, when it's fresh, it's much better. Just like when you have produce and you have crops and they just came out of the land, they came out of the ground and you eat them immediately, there's a freshness. There's, and in that freshness, in that potency, there's a response time. There's a divinity time. There's a signal. So a lot of time we talk about the time of God, the will of God, the hand of God, but you have to understand it from the shelf life of God and the preservation of God. And there are certain things that are potent in the timeline. So when I'm watching in the prophetic scope and this, and this, and this prophetic word is, I can collect many prophetic words at one time, not just one at one time. I can collect many and it's fresh. So they just came on a stage. And they were, and but what you don't realize is you got to honor them because what you don't realize, they just, oh, well, you just releasing the word of God. He was fasting for 30 days on his knee. You, you need to honor. You don't know the process it took to cultivate that word and bring it into existence. Okay. So you bring that word in many words together. Okay. The prophetic timeline. Okay. And then the energy of the apostolic timeline. You know, there's a power when you watch an apostles, there, there's a, there's an insane energy that that God gives to his apostles. And there's, a, there's just an insane level, an insane level of energy he gives to them. I don't know if it's because of the entire Operation 5, whatever it is. And so you want that energy. You want that energy. Money is energy. Success is energy. So everything is energy. So you don't want the physical manifest. You, you want the physical manifestation at the last degree. You want that at the last level. You want the energy of it. You want the spirit behind. You want the infinite of it. So when we talk money, it's not money. It's the wealth you want. The wealth of the kingdom. The wealth of heaven. The wealth of God. The wealth of opportunity. The wealth of transformation. And you want to operate from a wealth mentality status that's leading to everlasting life. You want to operate from the mindset, but you want to be in the spirit of eternity. Okay. And so if you're not, if you're, if these two things are not infused as one and this doesn't become the, the, you have to put things at the top of your brain. Too many times we have great divine principles and we're operating in them. We start experiencing success. We start feeling more of heaven's reign. We start feeling the authority of God, but we lose sight of these principles that are supposed to be in first place. Somehow another thing takes over first place. We're finally getting money. We devote ourselves to that and it goes to second place and then it goes to third place and then it goes to fourth place because you lose sight of the importance and how your life depends on that. So there are things that are supposed to be first place in your mind that at times they're at first place. That's when you're feeling energy. That's when you're feeling the move. That's when you're feeling the flow. That's when you're feeling the go. But then they dissect downward and they lose the place they were supposed to be in. Okay? Because if my foot lost its place, I wouldn't be walking. Okay? There's a reason the body, the shape of life, you have to know these things. And the expansion of life, you have to know, okay... So you got to stay in wisdom for the light to connect and open up. There's God giving you opportunity to experience him. Opportunity, that's, that's where the elevator of God lies in the opening of knowledge. So you got to come home every day, wake up. And one of the first pursuits, the passions of your heart, it has to be towards wisdom. It has to be towards that transformation. Because that's going to be the ignition that's going to light your life on fire. That's going to consume you with passion. Your pursuits must re remain consistent. When you lose consistency in worship, in devotion to God, in wisdom, in spiritual transformation... And you miss, you lose sight of the principles that everything rests on. Rest. Faith. Then. It gets crazy. It gets hectic. There are things hidden in your future. That you may not know about. And only as they're revealed by light. Do you begin to see a clearance that you have never discovered before, which gives you an opening you've never had before, which causes you to feel free because it's the freedom that causes you to feel free. It's not the amount of money that you're gonna get. 
It's not even the opportunity you're going to get. All those go back to the experience you have just so you can realize and that's all that stuff I thought I needed in life I never needed in the blink of an eye it will all disappear it will all go to the graveyard it will all evaporate but if I stay in the eternal mind if I stay in the spirit mind if I stay in the mind of the truth and I calculate my bank from there I calculate the systems from there I, I devote to there because if you want something in life, your conscience, everything's going to go towards it inwardly. You're going to develop a belief system that you have to have that to be successful. So when we start setting off ideals, I got to have this much money to do this and I got to have this to have this and I, I need this, I need money so I can fix and I need money and I need this. That's actually a very bad habit to develop because if you didn't have God and you didn't have life, Money would mean absolutely nothing. You would not mean you would not you would not need money. You would need Jesus. You would need the pathway of light. You would need God. You would need angelic assistance to get you to the next level. And so, these levels of life, no matter what, see, you can go to life like this and get stuck, downcast. When you just live life like this, it can be boring. You get downcast. All you see is money. All you, you can, you're only looking at success from a purpose, from a perpendicular level, from a from a level that's just one of the lowest levels. You're supposed to be looking at life at the highest level, at the highest level, operating from the level, operating from the heavens, and just distributing what you were given in the time, not trying to gain an eternal legacy like this, not trying to earn an accumulation like this. You should be building up like that and realizing up there, accumulating up there, downloading up there, spending more time up there. And so you take your, your eight hour intervals, work, rest, whatever, and you turn them into wisdom. If you're praying here, when you go to rest, if you're listening here, you turn them, you, you have to flip the script and you have to turn them into spiritual transformation. And then there are things that you can never lose sight of. If you begin to lose sight of them, your hand will loosen the grip and you won't taste the sweetness, the honey, and you won't have the rejoicing, the celebration spirit that you once had. Because if you look back in the timeline of your life, there was a time... You didn't. You got more money now. You have more success now. You have more opportunity now. You didn't have a car. You didn't have money. You didn't have nothing. But you had more of God's glory on your life. You had more of an open expansion of the heavens on your life. You had more joy. You had more. You had more people wanting to wanting to give you money for free. They were in love with you. They were your church members. They wanted you to help them do roofs and pay you twenty times more. And you didn't have anything. But now you got more than you ever had, willing to work harder. You've developed some good habits along the way, but you ain't getting there because it's the portal that it gets you there. It's the open heaven that gets you there. It's being in the community because you got to find the community of givers. You got to find the community of people that are looking for the right individual to give them the opportunity. Okay, Because there's people that got money. There's people that got knowledge. There's people that have been doing spiritual transformation for 40, 50 years. There's people, you want to write a book? There's people, there's millions of people that have been writing books for over 30 years. They've published over 100 books. There's whatever, whatever degree you're looking for, whatever it is you seek, don't seek it in your thought. Okay, and in the physical plane, whatever you want, it's there. And now you can just get online and look. And it's right there, okay? You don't even have to move to get it. It's right there. So if I'm looking at the person that is doing real estate and has multi-million, I'm, I'm, I'm entering into him. I'm, I'm, I'm watching that. And now I'm doing the same thing he has. It doesn't matter if he has more than me. I'm on the same level now. Okay, so whatever I'm wanting in life, all these different. But then somehow I've done all that and yet it would leave me broke. Because there were other principles that were not remaining constant in my life. There were other scenarios and flames that I was not tending to. Because as I began to pursue this, I lost my true pursuit of God, of my Heavenly Father. 
And so I would lose devotion of worship. I would lose devotion of service where the supernatural strength, the supernatural encounters were. And I would pursue that because we're beings. When we pursue something, we're going to do it with all our heart. The problem with that is this is your mountain. You pursuing God, that's your stability, that's your money, that's your success, that's your fame, that's your power. That's where there's no flaws. But the moment your heart transitions partially to pursue that with all you got, you miss out on the entirety of everything. And so I've had this happen in my life and I'm grateful for the experience.